what's going on YouTube world back to uh, try something a little different I uh, recently been running into a lot of small issues with my car um, water leaks at the manifold today was a hose clamp that had broke um, so I'm out here trying to straighten some of that out and uh, before that my intake manifold was leaking when I took it off I noticed a lot of oil in my intake manifold and I've traced that and what I have found is basically this line from my PCV valve that goes up and goes in here that's where all the oil is coming from now I got another one over here but I'm not getting any oil on that it's only this one and I pulled it out and I mean I can see the the oil I mean I can see oil right there I can I don't know if it's gonna show up on my fingers or not but yeah there's oil right in the tube there and it's actually quite a bit so um after doing research and stuff i decided a catch can would be the best thing to do but i wasn't going to pay them prices for something that basically just catches catches oil so if you notice on my car i got this the dorman spider manifold it's uh the revised pi it's got the fat runners on it not in a debate on which one flows better i don't really care i felt no loss of power or anything when i switched from the ford racing pi to this one and by the way i switched from the ford racing to this one because my crossover was leaking which they said don't happen that's revised and it's not supposed to blah 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 happened to me anyway back to what i'm saying is uh I, i'm not gonna spend that kind of money on a catch can 60 70 80 100 dollars so i did some research and this is what I found, a little trip to Harbor Freight. Now if you notice, this is an air filter for a compressor. And I got the fittings that go in. I got some Teflon tape I already had. This is $6, these are $2, so for about $12 um, with taxes and everything, uh, I'm going to make my own catch can. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together and show you. Alright, so when you get it apart, I went ahead and put the Teflon, put these sides on. I don't have it tightened down yet. On this is where the little trick happens. If you can see right there is a C-clip, if my camera will focus. There's a C-clip on the end. When you take that out, this plunger inside, behind my pinky right there, right there, that plunger has a spring underneath it that forces it up. Now with the air compressor, this is compressed with air, it forces that plunger down. Well, this will be under vacuum, so it won't force that plunger down. So what I did is you take that C-clamp off, pull this middle part out, as you can see that it's moving, pull it out, take that spring out, put everything back together, and then you put the spring on the bottom between this piece right here you put the spring there's there it goes it cleared up this piece the spring and then put that c-clamp back on and that holds it shut now this don't see a ton of vacuum right there so i don't think it's going to force it open if it does i will definitely give an update video on what i did to fix this and what it is but everything i've seen online they don't even address this they just leave this alone which i don't understand how they don't get oil leaking because this is supposed to be a pressurized unit which like i said pushes that head down so all I did is reverse the side that the pressure should be on. So I've uh, put water in it and it holds water. So I have no doubt that it will hold oil. So I'm going to finish tightening this up and putting this together and then I'll show you all from there. If my phone would stay. One thing I want to address while it's all together is if you notice there's an arrow on the top. This side's going to go toward the PCV. This side will go toward your intake because the vacuum is pulling it toward your intake. That's where the suction comes from. When your PCV valve opens, the air travels that way. So just make sure when you put it that the arrow goes toward the intake. Now I've taken my PCV valve out just to show you. This is just the end of the hose. 
that was in this hose all that oil all that oil being sucked up right there so I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna mount this um, I'm, this is pretty much just gonna hang in that spot but I want to make sure that it's kind of secure and not leaking pardon the interruption I uh, had to run to the store I didn't have 3 8 hose like I thought I had but look at this nifty little spot that I found for now this ain't a permanent thing it might be a permanent thing I don't know but if you look inside the head right there there's this perfect little spot this slides right down in here and I can't pull it out it's locked in I can't even hardly spin it without pressure and it's gonna sit just like that now it is gonna be tilted a little but I'm gonna be checking this almost every other day especially since it's new I want to know how fast it's gonna fill up and how things are gonna happen so I'm gonna put it there I'm gonna hook up my hoses and show you what it looks like when it's done all right so there it is it's not the cleanest not the prettiest but for right now it's it's not going anywhere I mean like I said I can't pull that out or anything I mean I could pull it out this way but no other way so I got this make sure there's no kinks in it this goes from the PCV in the arrow points toward the intake and it goes in there like I said the other side I didn't have any issues on with it doing that so it's just this right here um, I'll do an update video um, and probably Monday when I upload my other video I'll go ahead and let y'all know if I've got anything in there if I have what is it how's it work what's going on um, that's about it on that I still got to do my EGR delete I got it almost done I got to make a block off plate that looks kind of hideous and then I'll uh, give you a little hint for uh, Monday's video. It involves something back here. What is it going to be? Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but what type, you don't know. So, I guess you'll have to watch the video. Y'all follow my Instagram. Y'all might know a little bit early. I don't know, depending on how I'm feeling that day. But for right now, EGR Delete is coming, making the plate. I wanted to do this catch can to see if it worked, how legit it was, how, you know, how things could be done. I might eventually, it's got a place where you can mount it. I might mount it over here somewhere for, for now, but for now, for just the temporary solution to see if I'm going to catch anything, to see if it's going to hold. And it don't bug me there. And there's a nice helicopter flying over the beach. Hopefully everything's all right. But anyway, back to this. Um, Y'all probably noticed I got my factory Ford coil packs back on. It's because when I was tracing down an issue, um, which happened to be the water leaking into the cylinders from the from the uh, hose clamp back here, it was leaking down and got in there. Um, and I just never put them back. My phone decided it was done recording. Anyway, this right here is for when I have my strut brace on that's where it rubs the intake it's just velcro it's just the fuzzy side of velcro I've had a few people ask me about it um, other than that I believe that is it here's what the old hose looked like let me uh, put this in then right there and as you can tell this is so old and dry rotted I mean that slipped right on and off like I mean it just it's cracking you can see cracks in it already so it's fresh hose I'm going to that um, I'm gonna start up the car and see if I got any vacuum leaks if I do run into problems y'all will be the first to know all right guys uh, upon uh, turning it on and letting it idle it was enough vacuum to pull that open so what I did is I pulled this back out I took this apart you, uh, there's a C-clamp. You pull that C-clamp off, you undo this, the middle comes out. And I just put some uh, 3M, a little strip of 3M double-sided tape around that rubber seal. Smushed it down, put the C-clamp back on and tighten it down. And it does not leak now. I just tried it. Everything's running great. Now see how that slides right back in there? And it just looks so pretty. 
I mean, don't look pretty, but I don't think it's hideous. But this tape right here, just 3M, and I cut a sliver half that wide and wrapped it around where it was like that and maybe that wide. And when I smushed it down, it sealed it. I even left the spring off. So, I don't know if you got some stuff sitting around to seal that with, you can do that. Um, I'm sure some people can get it to work. It's where you just push the button and it drains. But like I said, air compressor is on pressure. So that would be pressurized. This one's on vacuum. So, this worked for me. I already had some laying around. Um, I just bought it few days ago for Monday's project so let's go ahead and put that back in there I'm sure y'all want to see all this on the camera huh anyway that was it as usual thank you for watching horseplay and if there's anything that changes I will definitely keep y'all updated and again like I said on Monday's video dealing with something back there I'll be checking the oil here and seeing how full it is so again, drop a like, subscribe, let me know what you think. This is Horseplay, out.